Now we'll move on to the topic one that is definition, nature and uh, scope of an HRM. Uh, what is HRM is all about? Any definitions possible? Yes, there are multiple definitions are there. If you look at it, actually HRM is nothing but a kind of a function performed in an organization that facilitates the most effective use of people to achieve organization and individual goal. As we already discussed in the introductory slide, every individual, every employee have their own individual goal and even organization also has goal, uh, got a goal and human resource management is the function. They, they try to you know, make sure that most effective use how we can most effectively utilize the human resource by meeting their own individual goal as well as an organization goal so that's what exactly you know hrm is all about and according to adi godraj uh, godrej uh, hrm is all about a corporate strength dependent on people how we motivate and teamwork of people to make sure that we can achieve the organization objective that's what exactly you know uh, hrm is all about or the other way of you know defining the HRM is uh, you know art of procuring, developing, and maintaining a competent workforce to achieve the goals of an organization in an effective and efficient manner. That means it's an art of procuring. That means the right kind of an uh, human resource we try to you know uh, re recruit it, develop them, and maintain the kind of a competent workforce so that they can achieve the organization goal very effective and efficient manner. So that's another way of looking at it. It's a quite comprehensive kind of a definition. And the other kind of a definition, it's a process of acquiring, training, uprising and compensating employees and attending to their labor relation, health and safety and fairness concerns. This is also a quite uh, comprehensive kind of a definition which talks about, you know, right from acquiring, that is recruiting and uh, selecting training them, provide them an appraisal as to how they are functioning and uh, compensating them and attending to their labor relation uh, issues, health and safety and fairness concern, all this thing you take care of it. That means right from the you know recruitment until the end, you take care of all the kind of functions that's called it as your HRM. That's what exactly, you know, other kind of a definition talks about. And uh, now let's try to look at it. What is the scope of an HRM? The scope of HRM can be looked at from three major angles. One is your personal aspect. The second one is a welfare aspect. The third one is an industrial relation aspect. When it comes to personal aspect, it's nothing but, you know, where the manpower planning, recruitment, selection, placement, transfer, promotion. Likewise, you know, all this actually individual personal related you know uh, aspect HRM is covering that means right from planning that how many people we require recruitment right kind of you know people selection placing them in a right department transferring them according to their uh, you know organization need promoting them training them developing them layoff and retrenchment remuneration incentive productivity all these things actually you know you try to create an opportunity for many people so that's the way it's a personal aspect the second aspect is your welfare aspect where uh, we try to you know provide a best kind of a working condition when an employee joins the organization how we actually been satisfied with the organization by maintaining a very good kind of an organization culture and uh, you know pro providing all kind of an amenities such as canteen crashes, rest and lunch room, housing, transport, medical assistance, all kind of welfare benefits you try to provide with the right kind of a compensation. So that's one of the major scope of HRM. And the third aspect is your industrial relation aspect. Industrial relation aspect in the sense like, you know, there are uh, employee might demand many demands. Actually, they might have a lot of requirement and all the requirement, you know, management may not be able to meet with respect to the salary, with respect to the bonus, with respect to the working condition and other things and all. So that point in time, employee joins an union and then through that, you know, through the collective bargaining, they try to demand. So how an employee or a probably an HR department try to maintain that industrial relation aspect of it. So in the industrial relation aspect, they act as a kind of a mediator between an corporate or what you call employer and an employee union so that's how we actually you know they act as a kind of a major role so these are the kind of a scope of hrm now let's try to look at the objectives of an hrm uh, why do we require an hrm it's basically to help the organization reach its goal it is not only organization goal even the individual goals also can be met and uh, to employ the right kind of a skill and ability 
and workforce you know efficiently and uh, to provide the organization with a well trained and motivated employee so that they can contribute best for the organization and ultimately you know it's all about how we can increase the effectiveness or an efficiency of or the fullest of an employee uh, you know job satisfaction and self actualization and ultimately to develop and maintain a quality of work life to communicate hr policies effectively to all the employees so that uh, they will follow the you know standard code of conduct and ultimately it's all about maintaining an ethical and socially responsible kind of you know uh, society uh, within the organization as well as the outside the organization so ultimately you know we could make sure that by providing an employment opportunity entire society will be moving on the right track and they'll be engaged with some kind of an activity so that's a way ethically and social kind of you know responsibility we are creating it these are the kind of an objectives of nacharam and now let's try to look at the importance of nacharam uh, importance actually you know we can look at from three angle one is at the enterprise level and the one is at the individual level and the third one is at the societal level at the enterprise level actually you know good hr practices uh, help in attracting and retaining the best people in the organization and uh, by maintaining that way actually you know what we can do is we can promote more of you know motivated employees and job satisfied kind of you know people so ultimately because they are satisfied with the job they are highly motivated they will contribute best for the enterprise or the organization and other one is actually you know we can provide them a complete training and uh, even a challenging roles and we can develop the right kind of an attitude towards the job and the company and we can promote the team spirit and the commitment etc and at the second level actually you know at the individual level uh, individual level we can actually promote teamwork and team spirit among employees and uh, it offers excellent kind of a growth opportunity of people who have an potential to rise and it also allows the people to work with the uh, diligence and a commitment so these are the ways actually individual level you know we create a team and ultimately you know uh, individuals are learning many things the third one is at the societal level it actually you know very scare kind of a talents and all uh, we can be put in use and that's the way actually hr try to you know source the right kind of an uh, talent to the uh, you know organization